Hello, everyone. Uh, I grew up in a state in India called Bihar. It has 110 million people, and 70 million of them do not have access to power. There are 2.5 billion people like that around the world who do not have access to any power, or they have access to very unreliable power. And they spend $70 billion annually on candles, kerosene, and diesel. So having been trained as an electrical engineer and actually grew up in darkness, I was left with no choice but to found Husk Power Systems. So what we do is we design, build, and operate mini power plants that are 50 kilowatt in size. We run a distribution network for up to two kilometers or a mile and a half and connect about 300 customers, households, small businesses, and so on and so forth. We founded this company in India in 2008, and we are also operational in Tanzania now. What we are really proud about this is we have been able to mix a lot of technology that enables us to deliver power at a very affordable price point. So we use solar PV, as you all know, uh, for daytime supply, and we combine biomass gasification system that uses rice husk, obviously the name, uh, <laughs> as a feedstock to generate power during the evening time that enables us to cut the battery size by 60% and therefore lower cost. What we are really proud about here is we are using 100% renewable power to deliver electricity in the rural areas of India and East Africa. And each of these 50 kilowatt sites that I talked about actually creates four local jobs from that village, and it eliminates 500 tons of CO2 <coughs> per year. We take our customers very seriously, like I guess everybody else does, uh, but we are very customer-centric. And what I mean by that is, you know, for example, if you are a commercial customer, we are going to provide you with, say, a 35% discount. It's all alg algorithmic. Uh, determined through a smart prepaid meter system if you were using that power between, say, noon and 4 p.m. So it's a win-win-win situation for everyone, and here is how. We are passing on the cost benefit to the customer. Therefore, he or she is generating more uh, net profit. We are actually increasing the capacity utilization significantly because residential users do not use between noon and, say, 4 p.m. So this is how we are able to manage each customer in a very customized fashion. We do keep ourselves honest by measuring net promoter scores. We, I'm not just lying here. Uh, and we have done quite well in terms of increasing customer satisfaction uh, year over year. So meet one of our customers, Mr. Ram Kumar. He used to run a diesel gen set and was barely making his ends meet. But now he has connected with us for two years now and his sales increased by four times because now he has access to 24-7 power at an affordable price point, and he's, use, uh, he's using that to buy things like freezers and sell perishable products. Uh, a third-party survey indicates that we eliminated 100% kerosene from every single village that we have served, and that is quite an achievement. <laughs> Another interesting fact that we came to know is parents reported 100% children actually are doing homework. Uh, <laughs> I don't believe it. I honestly feel they're playing video games. Uh, we have been very fortunate and have raised Series C round of financing recently with the likes of Shell, NG, and Sweat Fund. And we have a very aggressive growth target. We are going to install one site or one new site every other day and reach 500 plus sites in India and East Africa over the next four to five years. And while doing, <laughs> Thank you. While doing so, we will create 2,000 plus jobs in the rural areas in India and Africa. So, <laughs> thank you. So I would like to invite you all to enable us to accomplish the target that I mentioned and help us reach out to 10 million people around the world over the next 10 years. Thank you.